morning, boys. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's Dose of Jay here back again with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, I kind of have a problem that I'm trying to deal with right now. And that problem is, of course, Riley, the three, is leaking coolant. I'm sure you guys can see from right here. And it was like under this, under this part too, but as you can see, yesterday, she just started leaking coolant out of nowhere. But you can't even see, there's still some spots. She's just been leaking coolant. And I don't know, but I'm gonna try and diagnose it. I'm gonna try and see where it is. Um, good thing is it's not the head gasket. So that's a terrific sign. I'm assuming it's probably rather one of the hoses, maybe the clamp or the tank reservoir. And of course, as you guys probably didn't know, the Mazda doesn't have a radiator cap. It has the uh, cool. It comes from the coolant um, tank. So go ahead and pop her open. So as we can see here, it was like at the min. It was like up near the minimum, and now it's like right down here, which is indicating that to me it would have to be. It would have to be the reservoir tank. I'm assuming at the same time down there you can actually see this coolant spillage right down there also and these clamps right here are pretty rusted bad anyway so i mean they could probably not be even doing its job anymore i was gonna go ahead and fix the situation yesterday but due to the fact it was so cold out i couldn't even work on this car at all so what i want to try and do is actually remove this tank maybe and try to like see under this because i must but because at I'd assume it has to be a crack somewhere on here. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I rubbed under here. And look at this. Under the tank reservoir. All over my hands. So, I think I was pretty much right. If I can't find the leak or anything, or if I'm wrong, I will bring it to uh, one of my boys' shops so I can just take a quick look at it. Um, but for now always try first guys don't just go to a shop try it yourself first see what you can do and if you know all else fails then take it to a shop that should be the last resort it's a hundred percent this tank i'm gonna try and make you guys see it but i don't know if i can get there but yeah as you can see right there right there there is like a drip that comes from right here and you can see the the coolant right here when this one is all the way down here so i'm pretty sure this tank itself is busted i'm gonna find see if i can get one of these um reservoir tanks or try some shop um and then just replace it quick times and hopefully that will be the issue only problem is now we're playing a very dangerous game where the coolant is pretty low and of course I don't have any coolant on me so we're gonna have to just wing it and just go for it and see if we can just make it down there before this finishes I don't recommend doing this I'm just gonna do it because I have no other choice this is one of those rare few times where the Del Sol is actually being more reliable than the daily right now <laughs> i'll pick up the camera once um at my boy's shop uh, i'm just gonna go and see if he has any if not then i'll just go hit up a part store and see what i can do from there so see you guys in a bit so a little quick little um update for you guys i have been driving for like the past like while now and good news it's not overheating at all or anything like that so it's not too serious keep you guys posted just reached the shop um i'm gonna go check in first see what's up and uh we i will update you guys in a bit update i forgot to totally pick up the camera there's no more leakage it turns out i was absolutely right it was the actual tank itself the whole reservoir tank itself that was uh cracked under it explains why the coolant 
was stopping at that certain point and not going over that because it was at the top there so we just knocked it out together in that shop and uh yeah now it's done so that's out of the way now riley's finally back to normal again thank goodness there is one thing that i do want to put inside this car and now now is for that little install that most people do or i see all over the place for some reason now but i had this like a long time before it got like so so common but already know exactly what this is by looking at it i'm not gonna try to say the name because i totally forgot about it and i don't want to cripple the name but we got one of these train holder stuff as you know from japan called like something something starts with a t i'm pretty sure but you guys know what i mean okay so let's bust this thing open and install this so of course i can install this by putting this down taking out this and then uh just screwing it off but i'm not even gonna do that i'm just gonna go ahead and loosen these three out tighten it and then um throw it on there and we'll see how it looks <laughs> All right, guys, so check it out. There we go. Sirikawa is finally in. Well, thanks so much for tuning in for another video. As you guys can see right now, kind of letting the dull soul just start up warm up so it doesn't die on me again. And now she's all fixed. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. And of course, if you watched it and made it until the end, please comment a star emoji. That'll show if you're a real one or not. Peace out. Stay humble. Stay blessed. Peace!